So we can get started by creating our testimonial section. It's going to be, I'm going to close up this section, categories, then comes offers, and next up is a testimonial section. After that, we're going to create a testimonial card component and then a testimonial list component. So let's start up here by creating a, hey, this should be uppercase. So offers, and then we're going to have down here another comment, oops, of testimonials. So let's create a section tag. I'm going to assign to this the class of testimonials. And for whatever reason, my JavaScript or my React type is not active. Okay, so section testimonials as a class and also the class of margin on the Y axis of four. So this is going to be right here. And let's just insert here a title component. So component title, close it up and let's add some text to it. We would say we're going to have a default value of title component to which we're going to add some classes and we're going to have a class of subtitle as always and text center and margin to the bottom of four. Now let's add some text, let's use a text prop and let's type in here what our users say. Okay, so there's a testimonial title section. And why are you red? Bum, ba -dum, ba -bum. That is so strange, but it's compiling. So no problems there. Maybe it's just a visual error. Hmm, very strange. Also, you will probably get this warning ref attribute. Uh, let's just go and line 187. This should be in here. Bum, bum, bum. 87, where's our anchor tag? Yeah. So let's just add a href and we're going to send it nowhere. So after we have our title, let's create a testimonial container using a div. So div with a class of testimonials dash container. And within here, I'm going to need a testimonials list component. So obviously we don't have that list component. So I'm just going to pass it in, but comment it out and bring it in later on after we created that testimonial component, the, the te testimonial list component. In order to create a testimonial list component, we need to create a testimonial card component, first of all, because as you can see here, these are actually cards. So let's go ahead in our components. Let's go to, let's go to components. And from here, we're going to go to page components and create a new component, which we're going to call testimonials, testimonial card, singular card dot JSX. So let's do a RFC create a functional component. Let's also bring in a card. We're going to go to a card, copy in, let me just think about, it. you know what? We're going to kind of uh, create this from scratch. There's a lot to modify here. So let's add to this, first of all, the class name of card, then testimonial, and then in view. Also, just so we can see what we're doing, I'm going to bring in the card here. So let's go back to app. And let's bring it right in here, but I'm going to delete it later on. So let's bring in testimonials card, close it up. There we go. So there's a testimonial card. So we can see what we're creating. Now, again, we're going to need a header. So we're going to create another div, the class of card dash header. In the card header, we're going to have the card image. So I'll create another div with card dash IMG. But I want the image class to be sent down here as a prop. So I'm going to wrap this the curly brackets, change this up into backticks. Also this quotation mark, everything here we're going to add dollar sign and IMG. So IMG image will be our very first prop. And you can already see down here that we're going to have a little circle where the image should be. Now the rest I'm just going to leave open. And although it's going to sound strange, but I'm going to create within the head, so still in this div, within the head, I'm going to create another card body in here and a card body outside of it later on. Now, this is going to contain the h3.card title and the paragraph tag with a class of card and dash text, okay? And these two will have separate props. I'm going to send down here the, the full name of the user and within here we're going to send in the job job title of the user. Okay, so let's send them in as props and also you job title. Oops, 
And there we go. Now we need to create another paragraph tag where I'm going to, or you can also create a div. I'm going to use a paragraph tag. I'm going to insert here. Uh, it's not going to have any kind of class. You know what, I'm going to use a div. So we're going to use here our a icon, which is going to be the icon for Twitter. And then it's also going to contain its Twitter handle, as you can see right here. So let's go ahead, bring in a BS Twitter, Twitter icon, and close it up, bring it in up here. So create a comment, icons, and we're going to have here import, let's import BS Twitter. Okay, and this is going to come from react dash icons forward slash BS. Okay, so we should always see a little icon. There we go. There's a Twitter icon. Now let's increase its size by increasing it to the string of 1.5 RAM. And I'm also going to pass down here then the Twitter handle as a prop. Okay, so let's pass it also up here. Uh, what aren't you liking? Oh, this should be outside. It's not a prop for the icon itself, but it's a, a prop that we're setting in here. Okay, let's also assign to them a couple of default props. So I'm going to go up here and assign to this full, full name. Then you can add to this job title and to this Twitter handle. And there we go. Now I'm going to also use text as the string of text. And then later on, we're going to also have a rating system here, rating and stars. Okay, we're not going to use them just for now, but we are going to use them just a, uh, actually in a couple of videos. Okay, now let's go outside the handle and also outside of the body. And then outside the head, we're going to create another body. So card dash body. And here we're going to have another text. So a paragraph tag with the class of card dash text. And this is going to contain the text prop. Okay, so this is where the testimonial itself, so what they are saying about our our little application right here. Okay, next after the body, we're going to create a footer. So we're actually going to delete this testimonial card and let's create our footer card dash footer. And we're also going to need here the flex, which is going to be down here. So let's add down here in the footer a couple of stars and going to go in here. Let's import now a icon of PS. And this should automatically import it. So as soon as you have your library now, it's pretty cool. As soon as you have your very first item from the library imported, for example, BS, you're going to have access to the entire library. So if I would type in here BS star and close it up, then it should be automatically imported and you should get a star. Now let's add to this a class name of MR1. Because we want to have margins to the right side. And I'm going to add just multiple stars. So we're going to just copy and paste this one, two, three, four, and five times. There we go, we have five stars. Can't do anything with them because this is going to come to in a later state of the project where we can then change our star system. Now, the last thing I want to add is here a style of cursor and pointer. Okay, so if I hover the stars, there we go. And just to have it in here, I'm also going to use a star fill, so basically, if we would already rate it our system, so let's just do this star and fill. Let's change it up and let also bring it in. Why didn't you automatically bring it in? Okay, so there's one star fill and I'm going to, let's say it has a two star review, the very first one. Okay, but as I said, later on, we're going to change, we're going to be able to change our stars here. So that's pretty much it for now. We have our component created, our testimonial. We have a testimonial section. I would suggest that we stop here and move on to the next part where we're going to work with JSON data in order to push all of these testimonials into, into our website here. So let's get started.